Hello everybody and today I will make a content which I can make from home. In this video I will demonstrate some starting kit equipment for your batteries or super caps. So if you play, I mean if you research and develop some batteries and uh, super caps it's really important to know what, capaci what capacity you can get out from your batteries and for this job I have this electronic load which is really good starting equipment uh, for your research and development on your batteries uh, this electronic load is from ZKA and you can find this on eBay and it's really cheap, it's between um, 20 to 30 dollars and it's really really good starting equipment if you play with batteries and super caps so, <coughs> so for this a uh, little piece of equipment I mean this electronic load uh, uh, I was inspired by some youtuber uh, the name of youtuber is Solar Hope he's a really good guy but anyway so uh, how to start with this little uh, electronic load so you have here some uh, this mini USB, uh, some man USB and some woman USB. So here and here you can connect your batteries and with this mini USB you connect uh, this electronic load to your PC or uh, laptop. So I will connect the electronic load with my with my uh, laptop. So that's it. Uh, also, you need some uh, this software, which is here. It's EB Tester software, and you get in this map some drivers which are here oh you cannot see <coughs> uh, together with this uh, software you get also these drivers and this software and these drivers you can find on internet so how to start this uh, software so I run Windows 10 and I need to run like administrator and here it is so and now you need some battery or super cap which you will test the capacity uh, I have my prototypes batteries in my lab so, uh, I, at home I have this power bank, which I will use like a source uh, for testing. So, uh, I will connect my USB, uh, my electronic load to my power bank. That's it like this. Turn off your power bank. And here you press uh, the connect. And now you can see here the voltage of your battery or in my case the power bank. Um, this is the amperage 
uh, with this amperage right here uh, will this program I mean this electronic load discharge your battery to set up with what current you will discharge your battery you set here the test wall so I have uh, a power bank with high capacity and I can set here to 1 amp so if you test smaller uh, batteries or smaller uh, super caps uh, will be the maximum discharge current 100 or 200 milliamps because if you set if you will discharge your battery with 1 amp uh, the time which is here will be really really short but to make really good test you can set uh, the cu discharge current to I don't know 30 to 100 milliamps and also you need to set this cut off cut off uh, voltage which is here so we need to turn off my power bank right here I have 5 0.1 volt and I will discharge this power bank to 4.5 volts uh, so I have all the setup what I need uh, the cut up voltage is 4.5 volts and I will discharge this power bank with 1 amp so again I need to start my power bank and what you need to do is press the start and you see right now I discharge my power bank with un one amp this is the voltage what you get He's, uh, here is the power which uh, you can get out from your batteries <coughs> and the time this time will stop when you get this voltage to this cutoff voltage. When you hit 4.5 volts, this program will stop. And you will see uh, what watts you can get out from your battery. Also, you have here the energy value. <coughs> Sorry for this. Uh, the energy value here you can see what energy you can get out from your battery or super cap and the important one the capacity here you can see what capacity can uh, produce your battery or super cap <coughs> so the red one the red curve is the uh, discharge current and this curve will be really really stable uh, the blue one is this voltage and the blue one will drop over the time because you will discharge the battery to 4.5 volts but if you test some super caps you can uh, make a cut off voltage of 0 0.5 or 0 0.3 volts so I will leave it like this for a little bit of time uh, and I will see what results I will get out from uh, time of 10 minutes so why is this uh, program and this electronic load were important because you can discharge your battery with some motors uh, but the discharge low uh, the discharge load uh, is not stable here is this discharge load very very stable and one amp of discharge will be uh, to the end 
of your cutoff voltage. Uh, but if you discharge your battery with some motors, for example, you will start with I don't know 100 milliamps, and you will end with I don't know 30 milliamps, and the discharge uh, load is not constant. That's why is this electronic load and this program really really awesome. You get. Uh, constant discharge load and you have all the values what you need the capacity the energy and so on so here I have my electronic load which is connected to my power bank the power bank is a source for testing uh, you can also uh, use your own batteries or super caps uh, this electronic load I have connected with this uh, mini USB and this cable is connected to my PC I mean laptop it's really really uh, how to say uh, it's really easy to set up uh, this electronic load and it's really really good starting equipment for your research and development so this is some basic uh, how to say this is some basic demonstration of this uh, electronic cloud which is really really awesome and I think it's really good starting equipment and really cheap starting equipment for your experiments so like I said, I will, I will run this for uh, I don't know, 10 minutes. I got here six minutes. I will run this for 10 minutes or more, and we see us when I hit 10 minutes. Okay, I run this test for 10 minutes, and you see the voltage curve is really really stable with no big drops uh, because the power bank use some lithium ion batteries and the lithium ion batteries are really really strong uh, so guys uh, that's it this was my first um, how to say my first video after a while I hope you like this and we see us in the next video Bye.